Hello, I'm Bishop Greg Kelly, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Dallas, inviting you to join me in the praying of the Stations of the Cross. As you know, this is an ancient uh, Catholic devotion that goes back to the first centuries when people would actually make the journey to Jerusalem in order to walk the path that Christ walked in his passion. Uh, when that became impossible, shrines were built in local churches so that people could make the Stations of the Cross in their local church. In our present circumstances, it's impossible for people to come to the church. So we are inviting and bringing the Stations of the Cross to you so that you may uh, follow along the meditations of the Stations of the Cross um, in your own home. So we're praying those. There is the, uh, in each one the traditional response. Uh, um, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Maybe some meditations and then moving on to the next station. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, my God, I humble myself before your presence. As I come to accompany you and your blessed mother on the way to Calvary, grant me to feel for you with the tender feelings that she felt. May these stations of the cross remind me of your love and of the price you had to pay for my sins. Let, my, let, let us pray the way of the cross with a humble and contrite heart. After all, it is because of our sins that Jesus had to die for us. To enter into the spirit of the Passion, let us ask Mother Mary to help us live the Passion as she did. Mother Mary, help me to see with your eyes, to hear with your ears, to feel with your heart, and to understand with your wisdom. Help me to know the depth of the love, Christ your Son, and the bitterness of your Immaculate Heart. Amen. First Station, Jesus stands before Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Bye. Christ was tried before Caiaphas, Pilate, and Annas. He was falsely accused. He was mocked. He was struck in the face during the trial by a soldier. Not once did he show impatience. In the midst of it all, he bore himself nobly. He was clothed in peace. In what way do you resemble Christ? In our silence under rebuke, in our patience when things go contrary to our liking, in our quiet and gentle manner towards those whose ways are disagreeable, let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, and have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Station keeping, Mary stood in sorrow weeping. When her son was crucified. Second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our divine Lord accepts his cross as we would accept a crown. He carried it with a joy and reverence with which we would carry a treasure. When a cutting remark, a bitter disappointment, the withdrawal of a friend, the betrayal of a confidence is thrust upon me, how do I accept it? Do I recognize the cross and realize that it is far superior to a crown? Do I let this realization sink into my heart and do its work of purification? Or if it be only a splinter from the cross, a discomfort, an inability to live as well as my friends, do I rise nobly above these petty trials, or do I let them fester and perhaps become a running sore? Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus falls under the weight of his suffering from the exhaustion of his body. There was no one in that crowd to speak to him one word of sympathy. This in itself must have been a keen pain to the delicate heart of Christ, of him who had poured out upon the suffering and sorrowful the wealth of his tender compassion. Do we touch the hearts about us with delicacy? We cannot tell what the most cheerful among us may be suffering. We cannot guess the hidden sorrow of those who are, perhaps, repulsive to us. Let us ask of our blessed Lord to put considerateness upon our words and the touch of kindness into our actions that our life may be one of sympathetic understanding. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. What pain and desolation, with what noble resignation, Mary watched her dying son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When our Blessed Lady last saw Christ, he was beautiful. Now that face, which to look upon was to love, is scarcely visible. The eyes are dimmed with blood. Those eyes which had looked into the depths of hearts and brought to them peace and forgiveness. His lips are dry and parched. Those lips that had spoken love and hope and sympathy. And Mary looked in anguish on her son and could not lift a hand to help him. Have we ever ached to be a help to others? Is there anyone in the world to whom we are a help, a strength, in an impulse to do higher things? Are we helping as many as God intends us to help? Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Fifth station, they force Simon of Cyrene to help Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sensitive heart of Jesus must have suffered keenly from the reluctance of Simon of Cyrene to come to his aid. The pain must have been intense when looking around at the vast multitude on whom time and time again he had lavished kindness. He found no one to come forward to help him. What a privilege to be permitted to carry the cross with Christ. How happy we should have been had we been chosen. Still, every day of our lives, we have the opportunity to pick up the splinters of Christ's cross by wearing a smile for the sake of the hearts that are bending under the crosses of life. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Veronica braved the crowd and dared to show compassion and love for Christ, who was looked upon as a fool. And she was rewarded by having the impress of the face of Christ left on her towel. Are we ever ashamed to show our loyalty to Christ? Do we hesitate through fear of ridicule to do what we know to be right? Are we ever influenced to believe that the restrictions of his law are foolish? Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Christ is for us salvation, scourged with cruel acclamation, bruised and beaten by the Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again, Christ falls. What a struggle our Savior does not have to merit for us the courage to follow the narrow road that leads to happiness. Let us show this divine leader our love and gratitude by choosing the path that he has trod, the path of service the path of helpers to those who stagger along the way. Let, Let us strive to lift him by lifting his creatures. Never let us look down on those who have fallen. Look down on the sinner, yes, but not on the sinner. We are called to be compassionate towards the sinner. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eighth station, Jesus comforts the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Cross-laden, thorn-crowned, bleeding, Christ turned to comfort others, to sympathize, to encourage. What about me? When I am worried, anxious, or overwrought, do I vent my feelings on others? When my success seems assured and my prospects bright, do I ever look around for the hearts that are discouraged and for those whose lights are burning low? Am I so absorbed in myself that I have not eyes to see from the strugglers at my side, nor ears to hear from the cry of those in distress? Tender shepherd of my soul, help me to forget myself that I may not be unmindful of the needs of others. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ had almost finished his weary struggle up to the Mount of Calvary. Each step brought more pain and each fall more suffering. So it is with us. As we grow older, crosses become heavier, harder to bear. And unless we have shouldered the lighter ones of youth, 
our adjustment to circumstances later is apt to be a failure. Let us beg the grace to grow finer under the pressure of time, more heroic in the battle of Christ, more of the power for good along the highways of life. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Virgin heaven, interceding, hear me in my fervent pleading. Find me with your love of Christ. Tenth Station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ is stripped of everything. He stands before the world bereft, alone, deprived of all that men seek and prize. The same may happen to us. Little by little our lights go out along the shore of life. The persons in whom we are interested are taken from us. Death steps in and makes ravages upon our hearts. Then it is that we are on our Calvary. Then it is that the value of our faith is realized and peering through the gloom that wraps us round, we catch a glimpse of the glory that lies beyond the passing shadows. Let us grasp the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The hands that had been lifted up in blessing were nailed to the cross. Those hands that had rested tenderly on the leper, opened the eyes of the blind, touched broken hearts. Those hands were fastened with nails. The feet that had trod in the streets and byways of Galilee on errands of mercy were pinned to the cross. This was the return made to him for his life and devotedness. Can we complain because we are not appreciated? Can we find fault because others are preferred to us? Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. At the cross your sorrow shall ring, all your grief and torment bearing. Let me stand and mourn with you. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the throne of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have have redeemed the world. A mighty king, a tender king, a merciful king. He reigns supreme over many hearts. Does he reign over my heart? On either side of Christ is a thief. One a picture of success, the other a picture of absolute failure. Both had come close to Christ. Both had listened to the words of Christ. Both had looked into the face of Christ. One died a saint, the other unrepentance. We are all here together before the same Christ. We all listen to his words. Will there be anyone among us who will leave here unchanged, unstrengthened, 
unmoved to lead a holier, stronger, purer life. God grant that none may shirk this great responsibility. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ's sufferings were over, but not until the cross had completed its work, not until every sin had been expiated, not until he had drawn from the cross the sweetness it conceals, did he relinquish his hold upon it. Let us shoulder our crosses generously, if not joyfully. Let us bow our heads in submission to the burdens that the duty lays upon us. Let us walk with steady steps, knowing that the end is not far distant, and that there is one who travels with us, one who knows the weight of our sorrows, and whose nearness is our strength and security. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Virgin, in your love befriend me at the judgment day defend me. Help me by your constant prayer. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All the brightness of her life was buried with Christ. Yet Mary had to turn to those around her and minister to them as though all her interest was centered in them as though her heart overflowed with joy rather than with sorrow. If the terrible pain of loneliness may someday be ours, there is no greater anguish than loneliness of heart. There is no keener suffering than to live in the midst of the crowd and still feel alone. The only remedy in such moments is to turn and minister to others, to give of the wealth of our sympathy, our tenderness, our strength drawn on the cross. Let us ask the grace to be like Christ. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is the sacrifice that unites heaven and earth and reconciles all people to you. May we who have joyfully reflected on these mysteries follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us also ask together the intercession of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May God bless you and all the members of your family. May you know the nearness of the Lord to you in all of your suffering, and especially during this time of crisis. May the Lord bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may you remain in the peace of Christ. Let me to your love be taken, let my soul in death awaken to the joy